As a cat walks away from streetlight, the length of its shadow can be modeled by the equation L equals 3X, where L is the length of the shadow in feet and X is the distance from the streetlight in feet. Which of the following expressions shows this formula correctly differentiated with respect to time t? Now this is the introduction to related rates. We're going to write out our formula L equals 3x, and then we're going to differentiate both sides with respect to t. So we're going to ddt both sides. When you take the derivative of L, with respect to t, the derivative of L is just a 1. But since we're taking the derivative of L with respect to t, we attach dl dt. On the right side, we're going to do the same thing. The derivative of 3x is 3. But since we're taking the derivative of x with respect to t, we're going to attach dx dt. So that 1 doesn't need to be there. And you have dl dt is going to equal 3 dx dt, which is going to be a. A spherical balloon is expanding, and its volume is modeled by the formula v equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, where v is the volume in cubic inches and r is the radius in inches. Which expression can be used to find the rate at which the radius r of the balloon is increasing with respect to time t? So let's write out our formula. v equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. What I want to do is I want to differentiate both sides with respect to t. So we're going to ddt both sides. Now the derivative with respect to t of v is just 1, but since we're taking the derivative of v, we attach dv dt like so. Now this is a coefficient, this is a coefficient, so we're going to focus on r cubed. So 4 thirds comes along for the ride, pi comes along for the ride. The derivative of r cubed is going to be 3r squared. But since we're taking the derivative with respect to t, we are going to have dr dt attached. So the nice thing about this guy is the threes are going to cancel out. The one doesn't really need to be there. And you have dv dt equals 4 pi r squared dr dt. Now they want us to use an equation that's solved for dr dt. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4 pi r squared. I'm going to put a 1 here, 4 pi r squared, even though I erased the 1 just a second ago. And I'm going to rewrite it like this. Okay, let me get a different color. dr dt is going to equal 1 over 4 pi r squared dv dt. And that's the formula that we can use for dr dt. Fun stuff, related rates. If f of t is a continuous and twice differentiable function that represents the height of a tree in feet at any time t in years, which statement best describes the meaning of f double prime of 3 equals 4? All right, so f of t is the height of the tree. I, I, don't, know what, I don't know what formula it is, doesn't really matter. Now, <clears throat> f prime of t is going to be the rate of change. And that's going to be in feet per years. So if I were to do something and plug in 5, right, and get a number 12, that means it's growing at 12 feet per year. Great. I don't care about that. I care about F double prime of T. Now that is the acceleration, okay? And that's measured in feet per years squared, right? So that's how your rate of change is increasing or decreasing. All right, so what this means is that if I were to plug in three to get four, F double prime of three to get four means that I am growing at four feet per year squared. Okay, so let's see what our options are. At time t equals 3, the tree's height is increasing at a constant rate of 4 feet per year. No, there's nothing constant about that. 
That's not true. Uh, that's talking about f prime of t, not what I want. At t equals three years, the tree's height is decreasing. Nope, because it's positive. That's not even an option. At t equals three years, the tree's height is increasing, which is true, and the growth rate is accelerating woo, at a rate of four feet per year squared. That's going to be my guy. The other option is at t equals three years, the tree's height is constant. That's not true. It's That's not true at all. Not true at all. Okay, so we have acceleration, and so C is going to be our acceleration. Nice.